I had 10, like, ten see, number 10, that's a sexy number, number 10. I had 10 different interdisciplinary um, scientists to prove my case that Egypt and Egyptian civilization, I would say the Nile Valley civilization, specifically Egypt, was older than the Mesopotamian civilization, specifically Sumer. Smacked them right away with that. And then the way I back smacked them was, by the way, the first two civilizations in Sumer were 100% black African. As we see, this is Egypt, and down here, you see Nubia starts. Well, before Egypt, of course, the uh, Egyptians walked up from Nubia, from Kustu, and gave... Uh-oh. Okay, good. And gave um, Egypt its civilization and its culture. As you can see right down here, Kustu, it's supposed to, should have been Taseti. That was the first uh, civilization to, that we know of that gave Egypt its civilization. that the people from Ta City came from. Well, the Egyptians said, um, in the, the um, papyrus of Kunefer and the papyrus of Edfu, it says, quote, we came from the beginning of the Nile, where the god happy dwells, at the foot of the mountain of the moon.
The mountain of the moon is found integrally. It's found here in Tanzania, between Tanzania and Kenya, right there. You see right there. If you look at this Olduvai Gorge, it's where the bones of the first humans um, were found, and Leakey gets the uh, uh, benefit of that, saying that. Uh In 1974, Sutton was the first uh, person to write in a journal about <laughs> And Katanga, they found the oldest harpoons, 90,000 years old. Here are the harpoons that we are talking about. This is a harpoon right here, and you see right here, that is a spear point, and that is carved out of bone. Now, next. The Ashango bone, which is 25,000 BC.
the first evidence of mathematics in the Labombo bone, 35,000, the Ashango bone, which is 25,000 BC. Naphtaplaya is another place where you'll see brilliance in the ancient African apolithics. Naphtaplaya is right down here, 100 miles uh, square west, uh, square miles, 100 miles west of the Nile. Now there, as uh, Dr. Martin talked about, uh, they found a. Um, African Stonehenge. The, uh, they, they dug down into the um, sand 12 feet, 10 to 12 feet, and they found etched into the stone a map carved in the stone of our Milky Way as seen from above the galactic center. And this was uh, the Milky Way as it was seen 17,700 BC, which is almost 20,000 years ago. Now, this is incredible. So, the African aqualithic civilizations up all the way to Egypt, up Khartoum, uh, Fayum. here into Mesopotamia. Uh, and then it goes also west at the same time. Uh, next. Now, who were the people of the African Aqualithic? Next, Cole unbelievably mentions that the prevalent assumption is that Caucasian influence, this is a quote, he said, a prevalent assumption is that Caucasian influence were prominent in East Africa during the, the uh, Aqua Aqualithic, unquote. Even Kuhn found this ridiculous, and he's the same Kuhn who was quoted as saying, quote, if Africa was a cradle of mankind, it was only an indifferent kindergarten. Europe and Asia were our principal schools, unquote. Ridiculous, even to him.
Okay? But Kuhn did write that Professor Patterson's found human remains, specifically, quote, cranial and post uh, bones of the Shango people, show them to have been Negroes. And Sutton and Leakey agreed. So the First Caucasians to enter Egypt were brought there by Seti the First during 19 the Dynasty, 1280 BC. So Caucasians first in con put in context first entered Egypt or Africa for the first time as prisoners of war. After Seti the First defeated the first alliance of, of uh, European and Caucasians. So, if this is true, how could Caucasians have had any contact, much less influence on Africa, thousands of years before?
until well, uh, 15,000 years BC, and uh, here we have the Acropolithic culture starting 80,000 BC. So how could they have done that? Not too many weeks after our paper came out, uh, a paper with uh, Harvarti and Chris, on, Chris was on this paper as well, reporting um, a fossil from Iwo Iliru that was dating to about 13,000 years in Nigeria, so a region of Africa that has been understudied where fossils hadn't really previously been found, but I guess this had been found a number of years ago and redated, and it has some archaic features. So here's an example of a fossil that can back us up a bit in terms of the idea that there may be populations living as recently as 13,000 years ago in Central Africa that could carry some of this archaic material. Um, um, National Geographic has a picture and an article about these people right here who uh, they found in the uh, um, African Acrolithic, 8,000-year-old 8, 8, graves they found, 200 of them, were harpoons for fishing, dotted and wavy line pottery. Next. as you can see right here, were the Kiffian people. They were tall, they were muscular, they were fishing with harpoons, they were catching little fish and some small, larger fish right here, perched 200 uh, to 300 pounds. All right, next.
Council which points to a single cultural tradition. The time gap between the three indicate an exceedingly long cultural continuity. So, continuity. In conclusion. Oh, the Afro-Apolithic culture spread rapidly across Africa from southern Rift Valley north and so on. civilization did not come from the south, skip over Egypt, make a civilization in Mesopotamia, turn from black to white, and then bring their nice white civilization back to a poor Africa. It did not happen. My dissertation contains evidence in nine multidisciplinary uh, studies areas, nine disciplinary areas, that the Nile Valley civilization predates the one in Mesopotamia. Mesopotamia was Sumer, Sumer, which was made by black Africans anyway. Mm. Now this... <laughs> that there's misinformation factoids found in history from textbooks that must be changed and corrected with this updated information. So Caucasians on Earth, by the way, until well, uh, 15,000 years BC. come until 3000 BC there is no evidence of them coming before 3000 BC so the first Caucasians to enter Egypt were brought there by Seti the first during 19 the dynasty 1280 BC that they found in Tierra del Fuego, on the very tip of uh, South America, in uh, 1874, 1876, uh, were the short African Khoisan. The, uh, the first one in Mesopotamia was Sumer, Sumer, which was made by black Africans anyway.
good sales over here. No sale. language on the planet and they were all over oh, wow. all over all three Americas as now, well as now, Asia in ancient African history. That's correct. The Africans and the Mongolians get together, the Asians, get together and their children are the Native Americans. Tyrus of Edfu, <laughs> two mountains of the moon, um, uh, um, the, uh, shuttle, space shuttle. Um, this is uh, this next. Um, 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 uh, the, um, right here is Lake Edward. Me, uh, uh, me, um, uh, um, another. Um, the um, they, they, this was uh, the which physics was invented, which uh, uh, the notice of they said the. Um, so we just found that out about 10 or 20, 10 or 20 years ago. The bomb, the, uh, I'm sorry, the, the bomb will write. And the, um, next, as they go down um, to, down here and they go, um, next, um, both cranial and post uh, bones, because she cages have, well, uh, fixed, uh, at who uh, they found and they, uh, um, they were catching little fish and some small, larger fish. Was it? Uh, bone uh, uh, fish hook right here. Cultural continuity. So continuity and, and later for its pottery, of uh, uh, pottery. And that Sutton's ninety thousand year old, nine thousand year old date for a uh, wetter climate of um, his nine thousand BCE date for the aqua aqualithi. Um, um, in nine multidisciplinary uh, studies areas, nine disciplinary areas. That the My name is David Mhotep.